All right, let's go to Denver. Jimmy in Denver, back to the phones. Hey, Jimmy, how are you? Hey, I'm doing great. How you doing? I'm great. Hey, I love your show. First time caller, so take it easy on me. But tell you what, last night, I loved it. I mean, I... Ah! Jimbo, come on now. Come on, Jimbo, you got to come stronger than that. You know that. You don't want to come in here and say, first time caller, but take it easy on me now. Take it easy on me. I'm trying to find a way to get the callers more involved in the program, but I'm not going to do it unless, as I say this all the time, you have to impact the bottom line positively. Don't come in weak like that, Jimmy. That's not what you're about. Next time you call up, just let it go. Let it rip. Come strong. It used to be a Friday thing, and now it's an everyday thing. Come strong. If you're apologizing for me letting you on the air, then you shouldn't be on the air to begin with. Come strong. You don't have to agree with me. I'm not even concerned about what your take is as long as it's a good take and it's going to make my radio show better. But if you're coming on the air and starting off with, hey, now take it easy on me, and you're going to come in timid like that, you're not going to make this show better. It's like when somebody starts off with, you know that whole take about there are no dumb questions? Yes, there are. If you come in and say, this is probably a dumb question, but, but, I'm going to agree with you. It probably is. Don't ask it here. Have a take. Don't suck. Literally is the first thing I've ever said in my career. Have a take. Don't suck. Have a take. Don't suck. It's not come in timid and ask for lenience. Have a take. Don't suck. Come strong. Sorry, Jimmy. You can do better. You'll do better next time. Is there a scarier phrase in the history of this program than let's go to the phones? Even if I don't say it, you know what I'm thinking. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Even if I don't say it, you know what I'm thinking. No! The only scarier phrase than let's go to the phones is we have an open phone hour. one 636 8686, back to the phones. We go this time to Los Angeles, Dave in L.A. What's up, Dave? How are you? I'm doing great, sir. Thanks for taking my call. You got it. You know, I live in Los Angeles, as you said, but I've been a big Eagles fan this past decade because of Andy Reid and some other BYU guys that have been there in Philadelphia. Right. And I've had the opportunity to go to a few games, flown out there for some Monday night games, and have been pleasantly surprised at the support that they show Andy Reid, and I'm expecting to hear a lot of haters on Andy Reid, especially because of the bad rap that Philadelphia fans have. But I've met Andy Reid, I've met his wife, I've met his daughters, and I can promise to you and your listeners that you're not going to find a better guy anywhere to be the head coach of an NFL team. And so I thank you for the interview, and as long as he's in Philadelphia, I will be their biggest West Coast fan and can't wait for the Super Bowl victory that is sure to come uh, as long as he's there doing his thing. Thanks, Rome. War BYU taking care of Oklahoma on Saturday. I'm out. All right, you got it. Andy Reid starting his 11th year. That's that's amazing. 11 years. Not only 11 years as a head coach in the NFL at the same team, but 11 years in Philadelphia. That's amazing.